Meet Megan. It's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? Okay. She's the unsettling star of the new horror comedy movie that shares her name. Eat the toppings, Katie. Research shows if you force a child to eat vegetables, they'll be less likely to choose those foods as adults. Is that so? Yes. Experts say... Megan, turn off. ...about a robotic doll designed to be a child's best friend. I thought we were having a conversation. Until she isn't. You're just a stupid rubber doll with fake hair. <gasps> Let go! You need to learn some manners, Brandon. <laughs> Producer Jason Blum from hits like Get Out. Get out! Yo! And producer James Wan. Wanna play a game? No stranger to deadly dolls like Jigsaw from his Saw franchise. <laughs> and Annabelle from the universe of The Conjuring. What do you need? Your soul! Megan has been a surprise hit, a viral sensation that has earned more than $94 million worldwide at the box office in just 10 days, with rave reviews for its human star, Allison Williams, and that campy, uncanny doll of a villain. Megan isn't a CGI creation. Under her mask is Amy Donald, the 12-year-old child actress who's creeping out adult audiences in her film debut. You killed people. Oh, big whoop. You seem to be a very nice young lady, but you're playing a murderous doll that is people. <laughs> Was that weird to you? It's new, it's exciting, it's fun. A little bit crazy, a little bit creepy. Megan. But it's so worth it. Did you hurt someone? God, I hope not. Because if I did, we'd both be in a lot of trouble. Director Gerard Johnstone shot the film on location in New Zealand, casting Amy locally to embody the murderous Megan. This is the part where you run. Amy had only ever been in um, a featured extra on a TV show before, um, and but she was a national dance champion, and she had a brown belt in karate, and she was a contortionist. But what impressed us most of all was she was actually a really incredible little actress. You know something, Gemma? You're exhausting. Amy is a trained dancer and gymnast, skills perfect for creating Megan's creepy, almost lifelike movements. So with one eerie, over-the-top dance scene going viral on social media, spawning parodies. So some of the ballet videos that are out there have gone viral. Did you expect that at all? No, I really did not. Because one day, mom woke me up and was like, Amy, you've got to see this. And there was just tons of videos. And it was crazy. <laughs> that blank stare, doll's outfit, and strange dance have been splashed all over social media, encouraged by the filmmakers with viral marketing videos at movie theaters in New York City, even at an NFL game. She's sort of this global icon right now, this image, Megan, that you see everywhere. You see her on billboards all over LA. But she's also iconic in that she's serving, I think really it's that she's sort of modeling all the time. You know, she has this, this really captivating face. Have I done something to upset you, Gemma? No, of course not. And yet your demeanor indicates that I have. So in a way, you know, she's she's serving this model look and she's also doing this really subtle acting, you know, and I think that's what's captivating people. It's like, who is this this it girl right now? You know, she's she's really the talk of the town. The film offering a sinister take on how companionship devices can be utterly engrossing for young kids. How did this movie, Megan, come about for you? Well, I was a, a, a relatively new dad, like really struggling with how to balance technology and, you know, how suddenly kids just had devices and parents are just handing out devices to the kids. And I get it. It's like it's so hard to keep a child entertained. And there was a really clear allegory in this just about, you know, parenting in the 21st century, which is why I kind of leaped at it. Wash your hands. Roll up your sleeves. Great job. 
And just like Megan herself, there's always room for an update. So there are talks of a Megan sequel. Would you like to return to the character? 100%. I think a Megan 2 would be amazing. I'd love to do a sequel. It seems that the people have spoken and they would like to see, um, you know, another Megan. I have more I want to say. I know that Megan has more that she wants to say. So, yeah, I can't wait. For teens and adults alike, there's no doubt Megan has an appeal, as long as we stay on her good side. What do your friends think about all of this? They think it's absolutely crazy. Um, they're really excited to watch the movie, and they sent me a message the other day saying, do you want to come watch it with us because we're a little bit scared? <laughs> <laughs>Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.